Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is the Back to the Future 35th Anniversary. Ah, uh, it's, well, it's, it's, it's Griff Tannen, my god. Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is Griff Tannen. Thank you, Doc. Go sit in the corner. Um, now you can see Griff. Nice artwork on the front there of him, of these, of his skateboard. Hoverboard. Ultimate Griff Tannen on the side there with the DeLorean. Tell you what, Doc, you can read this bit. Oh, great. Ultimate Griff Tannen. Marty McFly and Doc Brown experience the adventure of a lifetime in an unlikely time machine as they travel to the past, present, and future, setting off a time shattering chain reaction that disrupts the time space continuum. Ah. Includes telescopic bat, interchangeable head, hoverboard, and flight stand. Great Scott. Thanks, Doc. Uh, yep, thank you for the collection. The other ones which we already have and I have reviewed, go watch those. There'll be some links at the end. Yes. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Like I say, no artwork of the character on the box, but mm -hmm. uh huh. Uh huh. Right, on the inside, we have seen that. There is a. I would like if they'd have made, I don't know if that's it, a little stand for this to go with, but I, it's looking like this one on the back. What do you say? Flight stand, flight stand, so yeah, it has. Oh, I'm just, doc, sorry doc, I wasn't listening when you were reading that out. <laughs> right, let's get this open. There we go. I am um, from the box, it's a lot bottom, from it. it's a lot easier. This is taking a while to get here to the UK. We have the modern 2015. Wow. The future 2015. So there he is looking angry. Uh, get the scissors. I do like these new cable tie things that they're using because they cut. Yeah, I said, but I say they cut a lot easier. I struggle to cut them. <laughs> Yeah, I need to, I feel that while I am editing this uh, video onto YouTube, I may be watching Back to the Future. I haven't watched it in a while, and it would be nice to watch it. I have the 4K. Let's watch it in... I missed one of the tags on his leg. Go. And one on his arm. Jeez. Yeah, these tags are so easy, he said. Earlier in the video. Stop laughing, Doc. It's not funny. Right, there he goes. There he is. Let's get all the bits out of the box. Right, so we've got a head, telescopic baseball bat, and the pit bull. There we go. Oh, and, and the flight stand. Nearly forgot the flight stand. Right, oh, my side's taken away there. Right, so. This is the bit I'm intrigued by, the flight stand. All right. So let's have a quick look at this. And they said surfboard. The metallic under there is really good. Really, really good. Hmm. I like I like the effect of that pit bull on there. The strings on back do not pull out, and the jets do not move. Still, it has a hole in the middle there, which I presume you plug very carefully. That in like that. You see, didn't do this for uh, Marty's, did they? He has that angry face. Wow, that is an angry face. <gasps> wow, that really is that. Look at that. That is. What are you looking at, butthead? 
Yeah, that is angry. The, the suit though is pretty cool. It's kind of got a metallic, metallic look to it. It's pretty, pretty novel. Lots of nice details. They look like cricket gloves on that side. Um, hmm. Interesting that moves. The belt is a chainsaw and what looks like some kind of injection things. Nuclear <laughs> warning on there. And pointy shoes with yeah, interesting markings on. Right. He stands. Yes, he does. The other head, no helmet. It's just a bit, kind of looks like a just a Biff Tannen head, but it's supposed to be Griff. Let's swap it. Can we? We can't swap the hat, can we? No. So the hat is only on this one, which mm, it's fine. The baseball bat. Don't look angry at me. Which says telescopic isn't actually telescopic. Could get them for a trades description thing there. But still, kind of novel. Hmm. Slugger 2000. I can't quite read that. Kirk Gibbon? Gibson Jr. Now I'm English, so that doesn't really mean a lot. But anyway. I'm sure somebody out there will explain it to me in the comments. Now I'm trying to look to see what I'm going to do with the box now. How he's holding the bat in. Let's see if I can prop that. Nope. Just fold the bottom of the box closed. There we go. So. Can we get him in that pose? I wonder. It's a challenge, isn't it? And that. Oops. Right, that's handy. <laughs> that's handy. Ah, right. Mm. So there we go. We've got him with the baseball bat in his hand, which is a good start. And let's just give him a little bit, a little bit of a bend to the knee for the baseball for the hoverboard. It's a shame they didn't do this kind of stand with my. But there we go. Yay! That looks pretty cool, actually. I am relatively impressed with that. I get the feeling that after a while that stand may not quite hold enough weight. Or if a big truck went past, it may shake it enough to make him fall off the board but I definitely think I am going to work on some way of getting him on the shelf like that I think that face is brilliant and just tell you what I'll do it the easy way the face is great to say this brand's great they've done a real good job of getting like the the glove the knitting glove on there the silver's fantastic on it yeah, I mean, I am kind of, I'm kind of impressed. I don't know how far on there I'm going to go with the uh, Back to the Future figures. I would like to see, you know, Lorraine and his dad. I don't think his dad will happen just because of Crispin Glover. There we have the Matty with his hoverboard. Actually there is, you see look, that in there is obviously they were gonna do it with him, but they didn't. Hmm. So, I wonder if that, somebody, somebody's definitely gonna unplug that from there and stick it on there. 
there wasn't one of those in the box with this, was there? No. Hmm. So yeah. Give an idea. This guy is big. Let's see if we can get him off the board. Stand the two of them together. Straighten his legs out a bit. There we go. He is a lot bigger than my. <laughs> I'm bigger than Doc. But how does he stand next to his original granddad? His grandfather. Excuse me, Doc. Yeah, about the same height. I said that isn't. See, they could have just reused the head from the previous one. I don't know what I did with the other figures from this set. But I'm sure people will just swap that head for that, because I think I think they are the same they're the same head. Which, yeah, not too bad I suppose. It's it's definitely a more detailed version of the character. Oh <laughs> my my was keeping him up. That's interesting because the Mighty figure has a real bad habit of wanting to fall over. When I took him off the base I did pull out his foot plug but I think that is supposed to be positionable, manoeuvrable. Yeah. So yeah, this one is definitely going to be stood on the board in a nice action pose. Ready to take out Matty McFly. Hmm, I think it's a nice figure. Uh, it has taken us quite a while to get these over here in the UK, so that's why this is about four months late. Um, but I'm hoping that you guys, because you like my channel and because you like NECA figures and you just want to see my review of it, you'll watch this. So yeah. If you have any friends out there that are into NECA figures, Back to the Future, or anything like that, tell them about the channel. It really, 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 really helps. Um, you guys have been great lately. You've been watching the, the um, American World from London, uh, Tony Terra, and some of the other stuff. Fan thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm going to wind this up now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, shares, and subscribe down there at the bottom, particularly subscribe. It really helps the channel. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great night. And go on, Doc Brown, you can do the last bit. Oh, I hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great night. And, well, we'll see you all in the next video. Great Scott. Bye now.